In the United States, approximately one out of every four girls and one out of every six boys is sexually abused. 95% of molested children know their molesters. And the FBI estimates that there is a sex offender living in every square mile in the United States. Many people don't yet know these statistics, and we believe that the threat hits much closer to home than many of us would like to think. We know that the time to change these statistics is now. Damsel in Defense is taking the bold and proactive approach of bringing these conversations back into the home. That is why we created Safe Hearts. Safe Heart stands for Sharing Awareness for Family Empowerment. We're creating the conversations for families to have in their households where they're safe with their children to be able to prevent these things from coming into their home, keeping the threat outside of their households. The mission to equip, empower, and educate women to protect themselves has always been so clear and so relevant to Bethany and I, but when 70% of assaults are happening before the age of 17, where is the prevention? How are we helping with that? So we knew for the longest time we were going there. We were going to get there. It was just a matter of when. When would that time come? And that time is now. My hope for Safe Hearts is that when these parents bring these kids' books home, that these kids feel empowered, that they feel strong, that they know that they can say no, that they're taught that their bodies are for them and they're not for anybody else. Whether we want to believe it or not, we all know it's happening. There are so many heads in the sand because it's hard. This is hard stuff to deal with. But we can't look away and we cannot ignore it because too many children are counting on each and every one of us standing up and saying something and empowering them to protect themselves. These are their bodies and their hearts and they have every right to protect them. Watching this project evolve from an idea that was the same but so different to where it is today, it's really cool to watch it all come together. We knew that when the time was right for us to go here, this project was going to be the most ambitious that Damsel had ever even attempted to conquer. So we enlisted a broad group of professionals from across North America, writers, illustrators, family counselors, a huge team of amazing people to be able to create the conversation, bring it into households, and engage everyone of all ages. It has been so incredible to see all the right people just fall into place. Each person has been brought to this project with a specific purpose that has created an even greater outcome than we could have ever planned. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm a freelance illustrator and animator. I'm a survivor. And I'm a mom. I'm a dad. And I'm a mom to four amazing kids. Growing up, I was sexually abused by my father and I was never given a roadmap to navigate through that, which led me to being assaulted other times in my teenage and adult life. To be a part of writing these books has really shown me that my story was there for a reason. And all of the people that are gonna be helped through this are why I'm here. People usually ask me the question, when do you talk to your child about sex? And I say, as soon as they're verbal. People are usually pretty shocked and they just aren't prepared to have the conversation. They don't have the information to have the conversation. So all the research that I've done on a personal level and looking for resources for parents was based on the fact that there's nothing out there and we've got to have some way that parents can feel comfortable about talking about this topic with their kids. Before contributing to uh, this project, I had already certainly had this like growing awareness that these kind of conversations needed to be had with my kids, but I didn't know how to have them and I actually didn't even know exactly when to have them. But as I began to see these stories coming together, this world just kind of opened up. Something that I was intimidated of or found difficult to enter into, I kind of found uh, an ability to do that with a greater ease through this world of characters and stories. Every child is unique and different, and so each of our heart defenders is too. They each look different. They each have their own individual stories. They range in age and gender. They all have their little quirks that make them unique. 
I wanted the characters to be real. I wanted them to be alive to the kids. And so I think the struggle was coming up with poses and expressions and the eyes on the characters, these cartoon characters that could still carry the, the weight of the emotion and the depth that these stories are telling. Kids are going to relate to them and they're going to learn with them how to view the, the situations in their life, how to view the potential abusers that would enter that. And I think they're going to learn this awareness through these characters in a way that is going to help them protect their hearts. While prevention is absolutely critical and we will not back down from it, so is helping those that are already affected and that are riddled with shame and need help with that. So Damsel in Defense is beyond honored to be able to give monthly from product proceeds to fund counseling services for those affected by childhood sexual assault. My favorite phase of this project was the focus group stage. Those stories, hearing what the product would have done in their household or could have done in their households as children, that was why we had to keep moving forward. That was the driving force, those faces, those people. When I was younger, I went to the person that I felt was supposed to be taking care of me and told them what was happening. And it took them over a year to believe me. So I love that this project teaches kids that it's okay to go to more than just one person. You keep on telling until it stops and until, you know, you feel safe again. I just wish that I had had someone tell me to keep on telling or keep talking because it could have stopped a lot earlier. I didn't get to work through that when I was little. It came up and then it was like it was just, we're moving on. You just hold things down so deep that it just affects a lot of things in your life. That's why I love Safe Hearts so much because it's had such an impact on my life. I struggled with how to approach my girls, trying to tell them my experience and being terrified of asking them if they've ever experienced anything like that. I was able to look through the book and point out where I was at with my heart and what had happened to me. I felt like years of the buildup was just lifted off my shoulders. I've been able to have a lot of closure and personal growth through this. It personally has just had a huge impact on, on my life with my kids. Safe Hearts is a calling on parents to be proactive, to not just have that one-time birds and bees uncomfortable conversation, but to create a constant communication within your households. We call them shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder conversations. Let these books facilitate those conversations and help you in empowering your child to protect their hearts and their bodies. I think the most important thing about the Safe Hearts series is starting with that parent guide because it gives an opportunity for them to open the dialogue with their children. And then having role-playing opportunities is vital for the child to understand how to have the conversation or how to say no if an event comes up. It's an opportunity to create a generation of kids that can take care of themselves, but can also take care of their siblings, their cousins, their friends, and it just creates a different kind of a community around this topic. The goal is to design characters to create worlds that invite both parent and child in together and have that space right there where these conversations can be talked about in ways that build the bond between parent and child but that give the children safety to talk about protecting their own hearts. And then I hope that happens in household after household after household as each new family encounters the books. I want to see safe hearts in every home. I want to see every parent sitting shoulder to shoulder with their children reading these books and having these conversations. And if these books are in every home, imagine the work that we would be doing. We could virtually change the landscape of families. We all have the best interests of our children in mind and would fight with all that we are to keep them safe. But what about the times that we are not there to protect them? That is where Safe Hearts comes in. Empowered parents empower their children to protect themselves, and we are here to help you do just that.